we start the movie with siblings Johnny and Barbara coming from a three-hour drive to leave a cross and some flowers for a dead relative. But Johnny doesn't really want to come here due to the fact it'll be midnight by the time they get home. But his sister thinks he complains way too much. As Barbara leaves, Johnny hears something on the radio. Back on. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, you. we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems. They then leave the cross and the flowers on the tombstone with Johnny wanting to leave as soon as possible. Hey, come on, Barb. Church was this morning, huh? Hey, I mean, praying's for church, huh? Come on. I haven't seen you in church lately. <laughs> well, there's not much sense in my going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you be damned to hell! <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. Johnny then decides to scare slash annoy his sister. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny! As the stranger walked closer to Barbara, it soon became obvious how unhuman this person was. Oh, Johnny! Help me! Johnny sadly lost his life, leaving his sister to run away in fear. However, after she seemingly got away, she accidentally crashed her car. However, she managed to find shelter in a nearby house. However, the phone doesn't work. She then met a man named Ben. They then worked to protect the house from more zombies who are approaching due to the car lights. Ben then tries to use the phone, but same results. Ben then took care of the zombies up front, where he then had them cremated. Hey, 